Hello everyone, this is Namdita. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. Today we'll cover another Spring 22 service cloud feature related to Endstand Bot. So as a part of the Spring 22, Salesforce has introduced us with a multilingual Endstand Bot. So with a single bot, what you can do is you can support over 17 languages. So with Spring 22, we can utilize single bot for multiple languages. Earlier, if we have any business requirement, right, what we used to do, we used to create a separate bot per language. Creating uh, multiple bots for multiple languages was a kind of a overhead for our development or our admins, right? Now, with the help of a multilingual instant bot, we are reducing the overhead. And what we are doing is we are just creating a single bot rather than creating or maintaining multiple bots. So, a single bot can support over 17 languages. Now, how can you support those many number of the languages in uh, for the instant bot? So, we'll see by logging into our Salesforce uh, DevOps. So, I already have my Salesforce DevOps open, which is a Spring 22. So, let's navigate to the translation. So, you can go ahead and add the languages using the translation workbench. So, here if you can see under the user interface, translation workbench, if you navigate to translate language setting, this is a place where you can add the languages for your organization for the instant bot. So here, if you see, I have already added a couple of languages. You have French, you have German, you have English and the Portuguese. So if you wanted to add the supported languages, click on add here. So choose the language, whichever you want to. Then select the users that is identify the translators for the specific language and click on save. So if you select any of the language like Italian, select the users, click on save. You can see that under the translation language settings, Italian is also getting, it's get, it is added to this supported language. So once uh, you add the languages under the translation workbench, as a step two, let's navigate to the instant bot. So instant bot is already enabled in our org and I have created a basic instant bot with couple of configurations. So if you are, if you wanted to understand how do you enable the instant bot and do the configuration, we have a separate video related to that. Please um, navigate to the service cloud uh, playlist where you can find a video related to instant bot. So you can refer that specific video, which has some brief we have covered very briefly on how to enable and do a few configurations with regards to the instant bot. So I have the instant bot already enabled. Now when you navigate to the my bot section here, these are all of the various bots that I have created. However, there is only a single bot which is active. Let's click on that specific bot. Here, when you navigate to the overview tab, and here you see conversation languages. So this is a place where you do the modifications uh, in order to add the languages to the instant bot. You have to come to the overview section, navigate to the conversation languages, and add the languages here. Here, if you see, I have already added French, German, Portuguese. If you recall, here we have added uh, Italian, right? So now let's add that specific language here. Here you see the Italian is auto populated because the rest of the languages are already added in the conversation language. Click on add. When you add it, all the four or five languages that I have selected, it's getting it's added to the conversation languages section. Rest all, it's all remains the same. So this is a step two. As a step three, that is as soon as you enable add the conversation languages under the overview section, navigate to the dialogues. Dialogue translations will be enabled once you add the, the once you add the dialogue conversations in the overview uh, tab. So here, if you see every whatever the dialogues that you have it on the left hand side, you see a separate tab which is added dialogue translation. So users or the admins, what they can do is they can easily navigate or change the language from the from the specific section itself. If you wanted to change to French, you can make changes to the French and you can modify or update the translation for the specific content. 
if you wanted to compare to this specific language you can also very well go ahead and do it without leaving this specific page you can select english as a primary language so the dialogue name is general queries the bot says hi there so this specific two dialogues two contents is something which we have to translate now so i have chosen the french so when you click on let's deactivate this okay i was very quick in deactivating and activating now when you click on this and refresh the bot let's change the language to french here to compare the language with the primary and when you click on this pencil icon when as soon as you navigate to the dialog name here you will be able to translate the content so the content is general queries so that general queries you can translate the general queries and update over here something like this you can add anything and click on save so this is how you can add the dialog translations for each of your dialog so you have to do the changes for um a, for everything whatever you have configured as a part of for your einstein bot just for our demo purpose what i've done is i've just added it for this but you may have to do it for all the dialogs that you have configured in your org now as a fourth step what you also what you can also do is you can create another dialog wherein the users can select which specific uh, language they wanted to that is you can you as a system admin or a developer you can provide them the navigation to select the language so for that what you can do is you can create a language so here if you see i have created a language here so this is a dialog i have added and here i'm giving the message as select the french language and then here i'm when you choose english select the language as as soon as i uh, as soon as um, the users click on this language dialog what is the next step that the that you want the bot to perform so do you have to wait for the customer do you want to show them a menu start another dialog or transfer to an agent so here i'm providing them a menu french english you can also choose german so how do you add all of this i have uh, again created a dialog for that if you remember we have added italian right so for that italian let's add a dialog italian i am choosing the api name it gets auto populated show in the bot options menu click save so all of these are showing as a menu for the users and click on save so i've just done a basic configurations in order to get this working you you may have to do a couple of more configurations but to in order to show you how to add uh, the languages that is as we mentioned we can have um, uh, we can support up to 70 languages i just wanted to walk you through on that specific feature as a part of the spring 22 so likewise if, if you see here i've added the language dialog i've added french dialog i've added english german and the italian so here for the french i have given them general queries menu so you have to do a lot of other configurations uh, like what you have done it earlier so now let us activate the specific bot because you went ahead and did a lot of changes on the specific bot right so um, activated it once you activated you cannot go ahead and edit that specific bot now let us try to test it so in order to test it what i have done is i have already logged in into my customer community sorry my community experience cloud this is a guest experience cloud so um, if you recall we have a separate uh, session or a video which uh, talks about how to embed a instant bot to the experience cloud so you can visit you can view that specific session which will give you an understanding which will help you um, to understand how to add an embedded uh, chat or the instant bot to an already existing uh, experience cloud so here if you see you see this specific chat with an expert click on that and provide some details subject sub dc one stop and start the chatting so here you say agent is on the way 
thanks for chatting with us ask me anything so here in the navigation menu here on the right hand side you can see italian because i've chosen this as a dialogue right if you don't put it in the menu items menu it will not be showing up click on language so here you see you see french english german italian so let's select french so this is how basically all of this has to be displayed in the french language however i said right you need to do a couple of configurations more to ensure that you add the dialogue translations for each of these dialogues once you do that you will be able to do the translations for your dialogues and the contents when you click on general queries that will be visible in the french language so this is how you can add various uh, or you know up to 17 languages in a single bot and um, our salesforce admin it is if users wants to change the language they can directly change it on fly without closing the chat if user wants to select something else they can select another language and they can change it without closing this specific chat so that's how you can do the configurations uh, to enable the multilingual support for the einstein bot and um, if you have any requirements which says that um, you wanted to i mean if if you if you have a requirement uh, which says that you have to support for various reasons then you can make use of this multilingual uh, einstein bot and you can um, you can complete your requirement so this is how we support various region language support using a single bot which provides a greater customer satisfaction and whatever the overhead we are also reducing the overhead for our salesforce admins or our developers rather than maintaining multiple bots we can just now have a single bot so this is what we have for today's session we will plan plan for another session or another topic soon until then please do take care of yourself signing off yours namrata kariala take care bye bye